More news out of Antarctica. Can you believe that? Crazy stuff. Popping. Forbes. Massive hole discovered under Antarctica, bigger than the Grand Canyon. A giant valley deeper than the Grand Canyon is buried beneath several miles of glacial ice in West Antarctica, according to a new study by British scientists. The subglacial canyon is nearly 2 miles deep, 200 miles long, and 15 miles wide. The discovery of this huge trough and the characterization of the surrounding mountainous landscape was incredibly serendipitous, said Dr. Saturn Worshipper, a professor of geology at Newcastle University and the study's lead author. Ah, he sounds really important. Ah, blah, blah, let's get down in his right here. Dum Dum eloquently summarized the implications of this research, stating, To me, this just goes to demonstrate how little we still know about the surface of our own planet. You can say that again. Yeah, I sure can. Because all of us are left in the dark about what's really going on here. So a whole lot of news out of Antarctica. Sure makes you wonder what's going on down there. If they're getting to that cube or not. Or if they've already gotten to it. Because, like I've mentioned before, there has been, been someone who said, you know, this is all just just uh, letting us know that they've got it. And they're just, they're, they got to it. And they're just waiting to open up the gates of hell. Just waiting on the perfect day. Which, who knows, could be July 27th. But uh, just a lot of stuff coming from that region. So I just thought I'd share this. Uh, and clear this up a little bit more. Here's Saturn, okay? I don't know why people don't get why I call him evil. Alright? As someone, a teammate of mine on here, made a video just now. Or not just now, but just a while ago about this so eloquently put it he's a sickle wielding child eater okay Saturn's not a it's not a good thing it's not a nice guy you see this this is from Sandy Hook okay if you haven't seen this this is a joke this is worse this is more of a fraud than the actual shooting was see this chick in all Saturn black she has a pyramid with an eye in it on her little t-shirt I'll put this below you see her name Alex IX what's IX that's nine what is nine that's the cube here it is on the hexagon on the planet Saturn. There's your number nine. It's all it all ties into this thing. This thing is not good. I don't know if it was if it was always evil. Doesn't matter. Saturn, the cube, they're evil now. All right, very evil. That's where I get this stuff from. It's how I. Um, there are many other examples, but here it, it, here's enough for you. I mean, is not sickle wielding child eater? Is that not a freaking accurate description of this guy? Can you see him swallowing that freaking kid's head or arm or whatever arm right there? It's not good, right? Not, not, not good stuff. And also in my defense, why I call Lucifer the light bearer or the morning star. Lucifer is the King James Version rendering of the Hebrew word. I, in Isaiah 14, 12, this word translated well, only occurs only once in the Hebrew Bible and according to the KGV-influenced um, Strong's coordinates means shining one and morning star, Lucifer. And it doesn't matter because we're all talking about the, the, the dawn of a new day, okay? Dawn is the morning, and we're talking about the dawn of the new day, the return of the golden age of Saturn. And Lucifer, the fallen angels, they're stars. So either way, that's where I get that Lucifer is the morning star, is that people saying that it's for Jesus. All I can tell you, maybe that's the case, maybe it was back in the day, maybe it was just like maybe the cube wasn't always evil. But it's evil now, and now Lucifer is known as the Morning Star. So I don't know what else to tell people. It's just, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean about it or anything, but it's just, it's weird that it's, there's a lot of people out there when you do start talking about this stuff that seem to try to want to, to knock you off course with it. You know, it's real weird. And I've had people say, oh, you're like obsessed with the Cuban Saturn now. You got that right, I am. And but I ain't no different now than I was then. Say that, that, I, that I've lost my focus. I've always been about the truth. Okay, I've exposed the truth a thousand freaking times. Everybody knows what's coming. Everybody knows what's going to happen. We all see what's going on around us. Now we're trying to get to who's really behind it all. And guess what? It ain't just George Soros and the Rockefellers and the freaking Bilderbergs. That shit goes beyond, way beyond. The, you know how many people were evil before those guys were? We're trying to get to the root. We're trying to get to the real core of this problem. And it's funny when you start getting to that, that people are starting to get real, oh, I don't know about this. Really? Are you sure? It's okay when I was exposing George Soros, but it's not okay that I'm exposing Saturn in the cube. Very interesting stuff. I'm going to keep at it. I'm just, telling you, I'm just telling you right now, if you don't like it, sorry. So I'm going to keep with this stuff. Thanks to everybody for watching.
Thanks to my teammates and subs. Thanks to everybody who sticks with this and sticks with me because we're going to get to the bottom of something. We may not figure everything out, but we're going to work. This is just the beginning. We're going to really learn some, some really cool stuff. I really believe that 100% in the near, in the near future. Absolutely. So thanks, everybody.